All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So this morning, uh, Bandai announced that the next unit that's coming to the global side of the game is going to be the Exchange LR Super Saiyan Future Gohan and Future Youth Trunks. So in today's video, we're going to go over all of the details that you guys need to know about this release to hopefully help you decide whether or not you want to spend your hard earned Dragon Stones to try and pull them when their banner comes out in a few days, or if you'd rather save those stones for something else in the future, like the 7th anniversary Dual Total Confest. Now with that said, let's uh, jump right into it, and before we talk about the uh, banner or the unit details, we're going to start by watching these animations, which are easily, easily some of my favorite animations in the entire game. So let's turn up the volume just a little bit and enjoy. Man, <laughs> so clean, so, so clean, but so damn sad. Like, I get kind of sad every time I watch these animations, but like I said, they're absolutely amazing, especially the solo uh, future Gohan animations, the revival skill, the two super attacks, um, top five, in my opinion. You know, not quite as good as the seventh anniversary LRs, because... You know, we've been a little bit spoiled by those, but these are still top five in the game animations to me. And before we move on, let's just quickly uh, take another look at these Gohan attacks. I mean, the effects on this Masenko are insane. And then I love the revival skill, which we see right here, over here. Yeah, the revival skill is amazing, especially when his... When his theme comes on, and uh, that's also got to be one of my favorite themes in the game. It's just, it's epic. Now let's move on to the banner that we can expect to see on Global, which is going to be something like this. It might be a little bit different, but for the most part, it will be very close to this double race banner. It's going to be a Rising Dragon Carnival banner, and there will be two featured LRs, the new Gohan and Trunks, as well as the Fizz LRGT trio from the, I think it's 300 million Dallas celebration. It was the one with the uh, AGL Gohan and Int Trunks, or sorry, uh, Int Cell Dual Dokkan Fest. So yeah, uh, I believe it was the 300 million about two, 
two years ago now. But yeah, the LR Android Trio, as well as the uh, LR Exchange Gohan and Trunks as the two featured LRs. And aside from that, we have uh, a bunch more 17 and 18s, as you can see, and also a, a couple of Trunkses and the N16. So overall, I would say this banner is definitely better than your average um, Legendary Summon, of course, because it's got two featured LRs and also double rates. So you got double the chance to pull uh, featured and unfeatured SSRs. So in that sense, um, it's actually a pretty interesting banner. It's going to be a banner that for some people will be kind of hard to skip. But one thing I will also point out is that these androids right here, the 16, 17, and 18, are not that good anymore. Um, when they first came out, they were very impressive, but you know, like these days, their defense is pretty rough. Their damage is not you know, kind of blow anybody away, and uh, the only thing they're good for, in my opinion, as a summonable LR, is the Android support. They are, I believe, the best support in the Android's category, so um, if you, you know, want a very, very good support unit to run with your other Androids, then, you know, that's a good pickup, but aside from that, they're not going to help you too much in some of the harder endgame content, like Extreme Super Battle Road, uh, Legendary Vegeta event, GT Legendary Goku event, and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. And uh, for these other units, of course, as always, you know, you can pull them on any banner. So you don't really have to go into this banner if you want copies of like some of these 17s or 18s or Trunkses. Um, overall, I would give this banner like a. Let's say 7 out of 10. I think 7 out of 10 is fair, um, obviously with the two featured SSRs, or sorry, two featured LRs, and also the double rates, it does boost the value of this banner by quite a bit compared to other Legendary Summon banners, but it's still not really as good value as uh, some Dokkan Fest banners we can expect to see. Like for example, the upcoming uh, Transforming Trunks uh, Dokkan Fest banner, which is probably gonna include the STR Super Vegeta. Like that banner is gonna have much better value for your stones than this one. So yeah, I think seven out of 10 is pretty fair. If not, maybe even a little bit too generous. Maybe like a 6.5 is more fair. Um, something like that, somewhere in that range, a C plus basically. So that's the banner. Now let's move on to the unit details. We got the Super AGL LR Remaining Hope Super Saiyan Gohan Future and Trunks Youth Future slash Super Saiyan Gohan Future. So the leader skill is Connected Hope or Bond of Master and Disciple, Category Key plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%. Super Attack raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes Colossal Damage, and 18 Key Super greatly raises Defense for one turn and causes Mega Colossal Damage. Passive is Attack and Defense plus 150%, Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, HGL excluded, two HGL key spheres when HP is 58% or more, plus an additional defense plus 58% chance of performing a critical hit, and reduces damage received by 8% with five or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus 58%, an additional chance of performing a critical hit, and an additional damage reduction of 8% with five or more HGL key spheres obtained launches an additional super attack with 8 or more key spheres obtained. Their active skill is an exchange into just Gohan, and uh, it can be activated when HP is 58% or less, starting from the third turn from start of battle once only. So obviously, this uh, HP restriction is not ideal, but it makes sense, and three turns is not bad at all. So a decent um, active skill condition, I would say. The links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Infighter, Prepare for Battle, Dismal Future, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Joint Forces, Android Slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, All Out Struggle, uh, Connected Hope, and Powerful Comeback. That is the uh, Gohan and Trunks. Now, after the exchange, you got just this Super Saiyan Future Gohan. His 12k Super Attack greatly raises. Uh, attack for one turn and causes colossal damage, and his 18 key super 
greatly raises attack for one turn and causes Mega Colossal damage. Passive is E plus 8 for 5 turns from start of turn, attack plus 258%, launches an additional super attack with 8 or more key spheres obtained, or sees enemy super attack when HP is 58% or less, revives with 85% HP, recovered when the character is KO'd once only, and then key plus 5, defense plus 58% and reduces damage received by 58% for the rest of the battle when revival skill is activated. His links are Super Saiyan, a Saiyan Lineage, Cold Judgment, Prepare for Battle, Dismal Future, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So uh, there you go guys, that is the Exchange Gohan and Trunks, a unit that I'm personally very excited for and also just a super powerful unit, but um, one thing I will point out is that before the exchange, they're good, but not crazy by today's standards. I would say like they get some good defense, some good offense, but uh, it's really after the exchange into Super Saiyan Future Gohan himself that things get really fun, right? Like the 258% attack is crazy, the additional super, is crazy. The uh, revival skill into 58% damage reduction for the rest of the fight is insane. And I just love this future Gohan, guys. He's amazing. But of course, it might take you a while to get the exchange going since sometimes um, you might not be able to get below 58% HP for quite a few turns, which is kind of unfortunate. But overall, a very good unit. Um, definitely a unit that I personally will be going for and uh, that is all there really is to know about this release guys we got the details we talked about this uh, double rates um, double LR banner and also watch the animations and at this point uh, I'll give you guys my recommendation but I'm hoping that you have enough information to make the decision for yourselves but in my opinion um, if you don't have the LR androids, like the 16, 17, and 18, it might be a banner that's worth taking a look at. But as I said, the LR androids are really not that good anymore. So, I mean, <sighs> this banner is hard to recommend to summon on. It is. Now, with the double rates, it means you have a higher chance to also pull unfeatured LRs, which is obviously exciting. But chances are I mean you're not gonna really pull anything that you necessarily will need or necessarily would want and uh, yeah I mean if I were free to play player right now I would probably do like one multi <laughs> you know like see what happens do one multi 50 stones and uh, test my luck if I get lucky maybe I'll pull the Gohan and Trunks Maybe I'll pull the LR androids, maybe I'll pull the unfeatured LR, but no matter what happens, I would just stop after that. Because, and I'm sure a lot of you guys saw this coming, the anniversary banners are just way too insane to not have as many stones as possible to summon on, you know? So like, I guess my recommendation is either you skip it completely, or you do one multi, or maybe two multis if you wanna get crazy but like nothing more than that and this of course is advice for like the average player is the uh you know average fit to play player who is not buying stones regularly um if you guys are pay to play then obviously it's gonna be a different situation for you but for fit to play players for people who don't have access to a ton of stones i would say either skip or like one multi and then just call it because we got much better banners to summon on in the near future, like the uh, obviously 7th anniversary Duel Dokkan Fest, but also the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Kid Buu Duel Dokkan Fest, and even the Transforming Trunks um, Dokkan Fest banner, I think, will be better than this one. So yeah, that's my opinion, that is my advice. Obviously, you're free to do whatever you want with your stones. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys plan to summon for this LR or if you're going to be skipping it completely. And hopefully this video helped you guys at least a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. As always, 
If you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.